dearly beloved the message that god has laid upon my heart this morning how do you know you are under spiritual battle how do you know you are under spiritual battle by the way brother philip god is saying something to me about you come and meet me before you go there are many people they have lost their appetite to pray they have lost the desire for the lord they have lost the desire to worship they just come to church as a habit but they do not know that they have they have got caught to the spiritual battle Ephesians chapter 6 verses from 10 to 12 says Finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wheels of the devil for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places so we, we wrestle against the evil spirit if, we, if i say in other words we wrestle against the spiritual forces we can't wrestle against the spiritual forces with our own strength with our might we need to have the power and the anointing of the holy spirit as he has given us the authority and the power through the holy spirit we can cast out demons we can overcome from the temptations also we can un- <coughs> understand when the enemy is coming he is coming from where if you pay your attention to the whole chapter book of ephesians chapter 6 and also we learn to put take up the whole arm of god so that you might have a strength and the power to fight against the enemy and win the battle there are many christians they have failed in the battlefield and given up the faith and gone even to hell after giving up faith in god so my beloved how you understand that you have you are in the spiritual battle you will find that suddenly you have lost the desire for the lord and you have changed the passion of having intimacy with god the good is, good illustration is the life of elijah like i spoke to you last week you get physically worn out and weak exhausted yourself when well, in the book of first king chapter 19 after elijah brought fire from heaven and destroy the work of the enemy and had a big battle with the idol worship priest he overcome and won the battle with 450 priest with all that energy and the strength and the might that he had at the end after he was exhausted he was physically worn out he just went to the mountain and fell asleep he was sleeping and the angel of the lord came and fed him <coughs> and he was sleeping the angel said arise he was so tired and worn out and he went to sleep again after eating the angel of the lord came again and fed him again make him up as he had a journey 
for 40 days god strengthened himself but still he got scared of a woman jezebel he was worn out it can happen to all of us as humans we just after having a big revival meetings and when god did something great the satan knew someone try to discourage us through them and some people who behave like a spiritual people you find them that they are like demonic uh, they are like demon possessed they can't bear when the spirit of the lord is moving the spirit of the jealousy is at work in their life so they are trying to discourage you through the evil spirits unless you have put the arm of god you read from verses 13 to 18 explain very well how to put on the armor of god in the book of ephesians chapter 6 verses from 13 to 18 then you will understand also then you get all kinds of bills remember everything is not demons suddenly you get all kinds of bills and you have no money to pay and also sometimes the things in the house also break down the car break down the vehicles break down and all this calamity comes these are what you call the battle come from the satan trying to stop you walking with god trying to take your attention to somewhere else trying to pay your attention to the things that are happening surrounding you and you are all overwhelmed with the troubles tribulations persecutions and storms and also then enemy is trying to attack your prayer life as jesus called the disciples to pray in the garden of gethsemane luke chapter 22 verses from 39 to 46 explain they were sleeping jesus said to pray so that they may not fall into temptation to overcome from the temptations you must pray prayer is a discipline you have to discipline yourself and pray while you are trying to pray somebody comes and disturb you or a telephone call comes or somebody comes and knock at the door or the suddenly satan will try to put some ideas to your mind to stop the prayer and go and do something else and you have to discipline yourself and kneel down before the feet of god and continuously pray in order to overcome from the battle from the enemy and also as hardly the satan bring the iniquities in your past life to your mind and reminding the iniquities that you have done sin that you have done against god you begin to think and you are you are trying to go back to that situation again you are trying to fall into that temptation again because your attention is is going directly to them and also you are going away from the people of a co- of covenant you get angry with the people in the, in the lord and you try you just go away and say when i was in the world i had good friends my beloved there is no other friend than the friend of the holy who is the best friend he is the holy spirit there is no other friend than the good friend there's no other good friend no other best friend no other friend in this world that you can have than the holy spirit he is the best friend that you can ever have and the elder brother that we have jesus christ there is no other brothers and sisters in the world than one and only elder brother jesus christ he loves you he died for you he rose again from the dead for you and he is there in the right hand of the father interceding for you and he has sent the holy spirit to be with you and lead you and guide you so you do not ha- want to have another friends from the world another brothers in the world because we have one and only best brother we have is jesus christ and also if you have keep room in the after one demon cast out if if the person is prepared and keep clean again the seven demons will come in the same manner if you keep room keep room in the life 
of the Christian, if you keep him for temptations, after you get over it, uh, seven times it will come back if you keep room for that to come again. So therefore, that's the reason why you have to wear the, the armor of God in the entire life. And uh, Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 to 27 says about the building on the rock. We, God has made us to face the storms. If you build on the sand, it will be destroyed with the storm. If you build on the rock, it will be solid. When the storm comes, you will overcome. May God bless you with these few words to overcome from all the battle that you face in your Christian life and help the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you when you face the battle.